So question number 59, this is also an example of a data sufficiency question. And the question they're asking here is what are the values of M and N, where M and N are natural numbers. Natural numbers means it could be any integer from 1, 2, 3, go through like that. So what type of data sufficiency question is this? This is a value-based question. Okay, there are two types of data sufficiency question. One is a value-based question, other one is yes or no type question. So this comes under a value-based question. That means you are you you need to look for a unique value of M and N or a single value for M and N. And always keep in mind when you are solving a value-based data sufficiency question, if you are getting multiple values, that means the statement is not sufficient. Always keep in mind multiple values. If you are getting using the statements, that means it is not sufficient. So that means you need to look for a single or a unique value for M and N. So that's what we're going to check. Using the statements, is it possible to get a unique value for M and N? So there are two statements given. And as I have mentioned in, in, the, in the sessions, you don't need to, it is not a mandatory rule that you, need, you should always start the statement one. It's up to you. You have the complete freedom to decide which statement you should start. So whichever statement you are feeling more comfortable with, you can start with that statement. Okay. So I'm going to start with statement two here. So statement two is given that product of M and N is 24. So when you multiply M times N, you are getting 24 as the answer. So what I'm going to check is, is it sufficient? Is the statement sufficient to get a unique value for M and N? That's what I'm going to cross check. So can you think about two numbers that can give the product 24? Yes, it can be 1 times 24 or it can be 2 times 12. See, these, there are multiple combinations possible. So you are getting a multiple answers or a values for M and N. So for, the, for, for that reason, I could say that statement 2 is not sufficient to answer the question. So statement 2 alone is not sufficient. Why? Because you are getting multiple values for M and N. You could eliminate it. So at this stage, option B is eliminated. Option B says that question can be answered by using either statement alone. Because I just now proved that statement 2 alone is not sufficient. That's why I'm eliminating option B. And there are multiple combinations also possible. You don't, you don't need to proceed further on it. Because with this two example, I just proved that multiple values are possible. So that's the reason you don't need to check all other combinations. It's not necessary. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to analyze statement 1 alone. Okay. So when I'm analyzing statement 1 alone, you don't need to use any of the information from the other statements. Okay. So statement 1 says that the sum of these two numbers M and N, so M plus N, sum so analyzing statement 1. Sum is greater than the product. And we know that M has to be greater than N. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick some numbers. I'm going to use that strategy, picking number strategy here. And I'm going to check whether you are getting a unique value or multiple values are possible. I'm going to cross check that. So the, the one logic I could think about right now is if sum is greater than product, that is uh, possible if one of the statement is one is definitely possible, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick some number here. And for N, I'm keeping it as 1 because there is one condition M has to be greater than N, okay? M, I'm keeping it as 1. And N, let's say I'm keeping it as 3. I'm starting with simple numbers. See? 3 plus 1 is greater than 3 times 1, which is 3. This is true. And from statement, from this number, we picked up the value of M is 3 and the value of N is 1. So do you think that this is the only possible a value you could get is the unique value for M and N. No, there are multiple values possible. For this example, we selected, okay, M is 3 and N is 1. There are multiple uh, numbers possible for values for possible for M and N, right? See, I can think about 5 and 1, see? And here the product is nothing but 5 times 1 is 5, which is great. This is also true. Here you are getting value of M is equal to 5 and value of N is equal to 1. So you're getting multiple answers. For that reason, you could eliminate or we could say that statement 1 alone is not sufficient. You're getting multiple answers or values for M and N. So statement A is also not sufficient.
answer option A is also not sufficient because question uh, option A says that question can be answered using one of the statement alone but cannot be using the other statement alone. So we pro proved that using each statement alone is not sufficient. So that reason option A and B is eliminated. Now the next stage or next step what you need to do is you just need to combine both statements and check whether it is possible to get a unique value for M and it. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. So I'm going to list down what are the different possible options here. M product M and is uh, 24. Okay. I'm going to list down the different possible options here. M and N. And the product has to be 24. One is. And also when you're picking them uh, possibilities, you should always follow the condition here. Because I'm using both statements. I'm checking the condition where M is greater than N. Okay. So, 1 is 24 times 1. M is greater than N. Okay. Good. Next is 12 times uh, 2. Then you have is 8 times 3. Then you have is 6 times 4. Then you have is uh, 4 times 6, but uh, you don't need see. Then you should also think about this combination. 4 times 6. Then you can think about 3 times uh, 8. Uh, 2 times 12, 1 times 24. These are the all possibilities, okay? But you don't need to consider this once because there is a condition M has to be greater than N. In this case, M is not greater than N. For that reason, I don't need to consider. So only there are 1, 2, 3, 4 combinations satisfying the product is 24 and M is greater than N. Now I need to check this condition. Out of this 4 left, which which one of them is satisfying this condition as well, okay? The sum is greater than the product. So 24 plus 1, the sum is 25, is greater than the product is 24 itself. Yes, this is true, okay? Now let's try the next one. The sum is 12 plus 2 is 24. Is uh, is it greater than the product uh, is 24 itself? Sorry, the sum is 14. I made a mistake. The sum is 14 and the product is 24 which is not greater so I don't need to consider this the next is 8 and 3 right the what is sum here 8 plus 3 is 11 the product is 24 see it's not even moving further it's not the sum is going to be 10 greater than 24 it's not so out of the four possibilities only one of them is satisfying this condition so that means if I'm using both the statements one and two if I'm using both the statements you are getting that the only possibility is this is the only possible case. That means we are getting a unique value for M. The value of M is 24 and the value of N is 1. This is the only possible solutions here. So that means your answer is option C is the right answer. Because using both statements together, you are able to find the unique value of M and N. So option C is the right answer.